Will there be a massive relaunch of nuclear energy in the European Union? Member states like Poland, Slovakia, Hungary and Romania have plans to invest heavily in nuclear energy. But Austria and Germany argue nuclear energy is not a way out of the climate crisis. They insist renewables are the way forward. What place does nuclear energy have in Europe's climate neutrality goals? Coal burning countries like Romania will have difficulties reaching Europe's climate targets. Could Romania's energy mix become cleaner if it adds more nuclear energy? Let's find out. During Romania's communist era, two nuclear plants were built. Both are located in Cernavoda, a small town on the Danube. These plants use Canadian technology, making them different to the ill-fated Soviet one in Chernobyl. Romania wants to build two more reactors here and upgrade the existing ones. That's an investment of around 6 billion euros, according to the chairman of the board and former president of Foratum, a Brussels-based pro-nuclear organization. But the European Commission is expected to label nuclear energy as green or not, thereby putting future investments into the industry in question. How your country will meet the climate targets you have signed in Paris. To reach the targets, we need to develop renewable and to continue the nuclear program. It is impossible to reach the targets without having the nuclear. So today we are talking about 18, 20% nuclear. 30, 35% nuclear is a feasible figure if we are going on, on the trend we are now by 2050. Regarding this very amazing debate we have right now in Europe about labeling nuclear energy green or not green, how do you explain this passion? One position is political ideological and the other position is uh, scientific based. If in the worst case scenario the taxonomy will not accept nuclear, the problem here is that we cannot have access to affordable financing as the other as the competitors. And uh, so that it's, it's might affect the economic part of the project. We meet one of the main figures in Romania's still small anti-nuclear movement. She tells us that using public funds to invest in nuclear energy will have a negative impact on the development of renewables. There are plans to build further nuclear plants. Is this a good or a bad idea, given the fact that the climate targets of Romania should be reached somehow? If you allocate this money for nuclear power, uh, that means that you disadvantage another sector like renewables. The uh, transport company of energy said that the capacity of the network is not enough for the nuclear power plant and for renewables. There is one other problem. Climate change means that rivers have less water, water which is needed to cool nuclear plants. Even the Danube has been affected by this. Chernovoda had to close down once already in summer, and such scenarios could happen more often. We head to Ajigiol, a village close to the nuclear plants and home to huge wind parks. This one is owned by the Italian energy supplier Enel. The race is on to see who can grab a part of Romania's future energy mix. Investments into power supplies depend on a stable legal framework in Romania. A few years ago, the government backed the development of renewables with green certificates. But this scheme stopped and investors pulled out. Only a few big energy giants like Enel stayed. We meet the supervisor of these 133 wind turbines. Harnessing wind energy implies using new, modern, high-end technology that appealed to me. It gave me a professional challenge. I think it's very important to bring this kind of new technology to the local community as well, because this way we feel closer to Europe. It puts us on the European map. There is no doubt that Romania's wind energy potential is not yet fully exploited. Many more turbines could be installed. 
Classic energy fossil classic fuel energy sources are limited and pollute. Wind energy is cheap and efficient. This area has great potential for the construction of more windmills. Not only here, the whole of Romania could develop this technology so that it could cover all its consumer needs. Romania is a sunny place. Solar power could play a bigger role in the country's future energy mix too. We meet a board member on Romania's first 100% green energy supplier, a small cooperative with ambitious development plans. He points out solar energy's huge potential here. 1.5 million square meters of warehouse roofs could be used for solar panels. He blames its underdevelopment on the lack of government support and poor grid connections. Romania, I think it's a really blessed country because we have a lot of sun and wind in some of the areas. We are able to double the production in Romania, at least. As you can see, this photovoltaic plant, in order to be here, uh, put it, has to be connected to a grid. doesn't make any sense to invest in a photovoltaic plant if you cannot connect it to the grid. Back in Cernavoda, we meet Kostin, the shift supervisor who is training two colleagues in the control room simulator. Earthquakes, the breakdown of the cooling system, and everyday tasks like refueling operations are simulated. On his way home, Kostin is still thinking about energy. What should Romania get its power from? What is the perfect energy mix? The first element is nuclear. It's the base because it's always there when you need it. Then it's renewables. We have them in Romania. We should maintain them in the future and even invest more in this area. But they are not available every time you need them. And this lack of availability is compensated by nuclear energy. Kostin doesn't just discuss the energy needs of a changing society with friends and colleagues. It's a hot topic of conversation with his 12-year-old daughter too. Bianca, let's go over why nuclear energy is so important. As you know, climate change is ongoing. The weather is warmer from one year to another, and we have to take measures. The nuclear energy we have here, the energy I've dedicated my life to, so to speak, is a clean energy. The European Commission must stay neutral regarding the energy sources member states choose to use. But labelling nuclear green or not will have a huge impact on investment decisions for years to come.